everyone. Welcome to our Daily Co Breakfast Bar. Thanks for joining me. Please introduce yourself and tell us about your professional background. Well, thank you very much for spending this time with me. So I'm Olivier Mayo. I'm a French guy. I'm the Simplifeed CTO. I've been in this position for the last three years now. I've been doing that job for the last 25 years. So I'm a professional engineering software and I'm very happy to be here today. Great. Tell us about the project you're currently working on and the problems it solves. So Simplyfield is a SaaS vendor. So we develop, sell a web and mobile application for retailers. It helps the employees that are on the field in the shops to be more efficient in their uh, day-to-day jobs. The, the main goal of Simple View application is to facilitate the exchange of information between the headquarters and the stores. Okay, great. How do you ensure that your technical team is aligned with the business goals of the company? Well, we have a very strong product team and this product team is positioned between what we call the customer world Customer world is like pre-sales people, sales people, CSM, and the IT world. So we have uh, those uh, two teams, and uh, it helps a lot to have between them uh, this product team. Awesome. And how do you decide when to adapt a new technology versus sticking with uh, existing solutions? Well, that's a very difficult question. Most of the time, it depends on the ROI and also the possibility to find or not the right skills, the right people with the right skills on the market. And I would say that it's a very uh, important concern for me. Thanks. How do you keep yourself up to date with the latest technology? Well, with my team of engineers, we try to always be uh, up to date with the latest technology. So. It means that they help me a lot, brainstorming with me, having some workshops together and doing some POCs on technologies and trying to benchmark a new technology we can find in the market. But also on my own, I'm reading a lot of articles, watching video when I have some time. And of course, if I have some spare time, I experiment by myself couple of technologies, but unfortunately not enough. I would like to have more time to do more experimentation with new technologies. Yeah, it's a pretty common problem. What do you perceive as the biggest challenge or obstacle that you currently face uh, in in Simplifield? I think that the first challenge is to find the right engineers that have the right skills and the right mindsets in order to be able to create some teams that will be able to deliver the projects. So that's the main challenge we have to face. And the second one is to use the right technology at the right place at the right time. We need to be able to be sure that the technology we've chosen is the right one and that in the long term, we will still be able to meet and face the challenges. Okay. Okay. Great. What role do you think IT outsourcing plays in solving these challenges? If you have a good partner, usually those people are better than you to find the good resources in the right timing because they're professional and it's their job. So the main challenge is to find the reliable partners. This is not very easy because there are many, many partners on the market. And you need to have partners that you might have a stable uh, relationship and be able to maintain the quality of the services during the complete uh, relationship. And that's the main challenge. What are the benefits and drawbacks of outsourcing? Usually it's much quicker to find the right profiles. It's also much more flexible especially in France, as it's possible to stop contracts easily if you have a temporarily slow down in your business. So I think those are the two 
uh, main benefits. Uh, unfortunately, there's one drawback is that this flexibility has a price to pay. Thanks. Uh, what were the factors that prompted you to consider ATL sourcing? I think it's uh, about flexibility and timing. Uh, in my career, I've always tried to mix contractors and employees in different teams. The percentage will really depend on the economic context and the type of projects we have to deliver. So it can go up to, let's say, 50, 60, 70 percent contractors. And in other cases, it might be like 20 percent. But I always have in my teams some contractors. Okay, thanks. How do you measure the success of collaboration with an ATL sourcing vendor? Well, the main indicator is about quality and the skills of the engineers that uh, the partner provide. For me, it's much more important than the price. I mean, engineers that are de delivering bad job is always too expensive. I think it's all about quality. Yes. Okay, great. And finally, what advice would you give to other companies considering IT outsourcing? I think they have first to, to find the, the right partner and the reliable partner, and, uh, and they should try. But again, for me, the most important thing is the skills of the people that will work on their projects is the most important thing. Thanks. Thanks, Oliver. Thanks for having time with me and have a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.